All right, so for problem number 13, we want to go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to Kelvin. So I know that in our... Um, Does anybody remember the formula yesterday to get Kelvin from Celsius? Can somebody tell me what that was? Do you guys remember that from yesterday? Nobody remembers that from yesterday, the formula at the end, or maybe it was the day before yesterday. What was it? Yeah, it was 273, right? So to get Kelvin, so uh, Kelvin, To get Kelvin, that was equal to the degree Celsius um, plus 273. But we have Fahrenheit. So I need to know how to convert Celsius or, well, Fahrenheit into Celsius, right? So if you don't know this off the top of your head, um, it's 5 ninths times Fahrenheit minus 32. So so what I got to do is I got to take and convert it to Celsius and then convert it to um, Kelvin. Okay, so this is a little trickier than the other problems. So to find the Celsius, I'm going to say 5 over 9 times uh, 200. And then we'll double check this when we're done and see if we're right. Minus 32 degrees. Um, what's 200 minus 32? Now it's 168, right? Let's double check real quick. Well, yeah, with that attitude. It's 168, right? So this is going to be 5 ninths times 168. Now I'm going to go ahead and just plug this in the calculator. So you know that I to get this answer, I just multiply by 5 and divide by 9. So I'm going to take my 168, multiply by 5, get what that is, then divide by 9. So it's 93.33 repeating. So I'm just going to say that um, 200 degrees Celsius, or I'm sorry, 200 degrees Fahrenheit is about 93.33 um, degrees. Well, I need to know what that is in Kelvin. So now to find Kelvin, remember that Kelvin is equal to the temperature in Celsius, which is 93.33 plus 273 degrees. So this is this temperature plus 273 degrees. So I'm just going to take the same number right here, and I'm going to add 273. So I get 366.3. Now, it doesn't say that we have to worry about significant figures, um, but... Was it 366.3? What was it? Yeah. 366.3, yeah, repeating. Okay. Now, if you wanted to round that, you could say that it was about 366 degrees Kelvin. Does anybody have any questions on what I've done? What's the question? Well, first, let's double check what we got. So we're going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say 200, I'll answer the question, um, 200 degrees Fahrenheit to Kelvin. 
366.48. Now there's some rounding because we use fractions and decimals and stuff like that. But that's right. Okay, we got it right. Does that make sense? No? Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to say. We're going to do the...